Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Storytime at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're so happy you joined us today. My name is Miss Lisa, and I'll be your Storytime teacher today. Let's go ahead and get started like we do every Storytime, and that's with a prayer. So please fold your hands with your fingers pointing straight to heaven, and you're gonna take your right hand, which most of you use to color with crayons, and say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, boys and girls, this is an echo prayer, so I'm gonna say some words, and I'm gonna to point to you, and you say those words. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this beautiful day, for this beautiful day. And please let our eyes, and please let our eyes and our ears, and our ears be open, be open to hearing and seeing your word, to hearing and seeing your word, amen. Now we take that same hand and we're gonna make that sign of the cross again in the name of the Father, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, very good boys and girls. Again, I'm so happy that you're with us here today. Well, today's gospel story is one of my favorites. Absolutely one of my favorites. It is all about the golden rule. You may have heard about that. So let's talk a little bit more about it. Well, boys and girls, there's rules. Sometimes they're called laws. We have rules at school. We have rules at home. Your mommies and daddies have rules when they're driving in the car. And boys and girls, these rules or these laws are there to keep us safe because we don't want everybody doing crazy things all the time. Think about if your moms and dads are driving down the road. What do they do when they see a stop sign? Yeah. They stop, right? If we didn't have that rule, Oh my goodness, what would happen? Everybody would just crash into each other. So boys and girls, this is why we have rules. It's to keep us safe and to keep us on the right path. Well, boys and girls, Jesus also gave us rules so that we can live a happy life. Now his rules are called the 10 commandments. You can see this a little bit better. They kind of look like this. Let's see if we can all count to 10 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. The 10 commandments. Well, boys and girls, Jesus gave us these rules, again, to keep us on the right path and to make sure that we can live a happy life. He said one of these rules or one of these commandments is the most important. And guess what? It's the number one. And it is the golden rule. And that rule is love God and love your neighbor. Love God and love your neighbor. Let's listen to this gospel story that tells us a little bit more about it. This gospel story was written by Matthew by Matthew, and this is the same gospel story that your moms and dads and your big brothers and sisters will be listening to um, if they listen to Mass this weekend. So, when we get ready to listen to the gospel, we take our thumb and we make the sign of the cross on our forehead, which means I believe in it. Make it on our lips, which means I'm going to speak about it, and we keep it in our hearts. A scholar of the law, which is someone who is very, very smart, asked Jesus, he was testing him. He said, teacher, what commandment in the law is the greatest? Well, Jesus said, you should love the Lord, your God, with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The word of the Lord, and we all say, thanks be to God. That was a really quick, short gospel. God was very, very straightforward when he told us this commandment. 
So boys and girls, Jesus's great commandment teaches us that we are to love God and love one another. We love others through our words, when we say nice, kind words, and through our deeds. Our deeds are nice things we do for each other. Nice things we do for each other. And every time we treat each other nicely and do nice things for each other, we show God that we love him. It's really that simple. Now, it's kind of strange in today's gospel, Jesus asked which of the commandments was the greatest, and he teaches us about love. But he also said to love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Hmm. Neighbor. Now, when I think of a neighbor, I think of my friends that live next door, Eva and Anna. They're my neighbors. They're our next door neighbors. And of course, we do nice things for them. Like sometimes if they're away, we'll take in their newspaper or sometimes we'll watch their dog for them. They're our neighbors. But Jesus also said our neighbors are everybody we come in contact with. So it might be our friends at school. Even though they don't live right next door to us, they're our neighbors. It might be our friends that we sit at next to in mass. We don't live next door to them, but they're still our neighbors. It might be the people that we see in the grocery store. Even though we don't know them, they are still our neighbors. And Jesus wants us to be kind to all of those people. I have a neat little song that I like to sing when I'm at school and it's called Hello Neighbor. So sometimes your neighbors are who you're sitting around maybe in story time or who you're sitting with with your family. So it goes like this. Maybe you can practice it. Hello neighbor, what do you say? It's gonna be a happy day so greet your neighbor hello 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 boogie on down give a little bump and turn around I love that neighbor song because it makes you happy and it makes your neighbor happy when you sing that so boys and girls I thought of a little activity that maybe you and your family can do this weekend is what it is you took a piece of poster board or any type of big piece of paper that you have around and you make a big heart in the middle and this is God's commandment love God and then love your neighbor now you could do a couple things with this you could write things that you could do in here that would say that you are loving God and loving your neighbor maybe you want to go to a magazine like I did I found a picture of a woman praying and stick it on there. This is showing that I love God as I would be praying and I'm praying for my neighbors. How about this one I found? Oh, this is a picture of doing some chores, washing some dishes. Maybe you could help your parents with that. When you are doing nice things for your neighbor, remember your neighbors really, everybody who you come in contact with, you are showing that you're loving God also. So boys and girls, again, this commandment is called the golden rule. And it's very, very simple. Love God and love your neighbor. So I want you to think quietly in your heart. What are one or two things I can do this week that will show God that I love him and that I love my neighbor? So have fun with your family if you decide to make that poster. Maybe you can listen to that song again and sing that song for some of your friends. Or maybe if your grandmas and grandpas or aunts and uncles are far away, you could get on a video for them and sing that to them. I know that would make them very, very happy. And most of all, boys and girls, it will make God happy. So have a wonderful week, friends, and tune in next week for Children's Liturgy at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church. Bye.